Hello and welcome to this week's video. My name is Anuska Taylor. So great to have you here. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do click the subscribe button below. I really do appreciate all of you who have subscribed to my channel and continue to support this channel. Also, if you enjoy my videos, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and feel free to ask me questions as well. I'm always happy to answer questions. So let's get into it today. What I want to share today is about the three subsystems of voice production, i.e. speech. And of course, this is singing too, but I'm talking about this specifically around speech. Now, why does this matter? Because I talk a lot about how there's a lot of potential in your voice, there is dynamic potential, there's all this kind of possibility. And I think often when we look out there in the world of voice coaching and particularly around public speaking, because I think often when people are wanting to work on their speaking voice, they're seeking public speaking training, which makes sense. But often what I notice is it really neglects the three systems. It usually focuses on one, maybe two, but very rarely does it focus on all three. So I want today to talk about the three subsystems, why you need all three to work together to have your optimal voice, your natural voice, your free voice, and um, what each of their sort of functions is to help you understand. And then you can make a more informed decision because then when you are seeking coaching or training or reading books or whatever, you can make sure that you're getting all three systems or at least someone that understands the systems to support you. And of course, I have many ways to work with me. I will share those at the end. The links are below, but let's get to it first of all. So the first one is probably the one that you have heard pretty much, doesn't matter whether you've never done any voice training, you've probably heard about breathing. And um, sometimes I think people think this is a magic bullet, that if I just learn to breathe, then my voice will effortlessly function. Sadly, that is not true. Now, it is important, but it's not the only thing that's important. So it's the first subsystem of voice production because it's sort of, we're kind of gonna be going up the body. So of course, this is the production of air and it really powers the voice. If you struggle to project your voice, if you struggle to get dynamics and increase volume, decrease volume, it's very likely to do with how you're breathing. A big misconception is I need to breathe more to get more voice. It's normally the opposite. Normally people are over breathing and then they're actually creating more problems than they are solving. So absolutely essential. And what you're aiming for, even though I'm not gonna go into massive amounts of depth, but I will link below to videos that do go to more depth. You're aiming for a low deep breath pattern. So as babies and toddlers, we naturally breathe low and we have this sort of naturally low breath pattern. It's just as we get older and into adulthood where stress starts to take over and we're sitting at desks and on devices all day. This is where the breath can become shallow and high in the chest. And this is where I see most people that I work with um, who struggle with really having that power and that control over their voice and the output the breath is just too high and there's no power. You've got no control over that breath. So that's why we want to deepen it. Then we can really control its kind of exit from the body. So really, really important. So that's number one. So I will link to some videos below if this is new information to you about, you know, this lower, slower, deeper breath pattern, but it's going to make a massive difference to how much power and dynamics you can actually get in your voice. So that's number one. So the second subsystem in voice production is phonation. Again, I've done a whole, actually I did a whole live on this, which I will link below. I go into a lot more depth, uh, but essentially when we think about phonation, we're thinking about the creation of sound waves. And if you're not aware of this, it's these are created at the laryngeal level. So the larynx sits in your throat, these waves are created, the breath comes up from the lungs, it meets the vocal folds, uh, they vibrate and they create these sound waves. Now, lots and lots of fascinating things going on here, but what I really want you to understand is this is probably the most overlooked subsystem. 
because it requires a little bit more technical understanding of the voice, but there is so much that can be affected at this level, so much, so much, so much. And so when I'm working with clients, if for example, I'm hearing strain or breathiness or raspiness or weakness or roughness in the voice, it is always starting at this level. It's very, very hard to manipulate that at the higher level. It's got to start from this level. So it's really at this level where the quality of our voice is determined. And I think a lot of people think, oh, it doesn't, I don't really need to think about that. Let me just focus on articulation and breathing. This is the level that I think often gets missed out, as I say, because it requires more understanding of the voice and what's really going on. So what, what can we affect at this level? The ability to increase volume, decrease volume, your pitch variation is at this level as well. If you're looking to find more melody in your voice, be able to intonate more freely, it's happening at this level. So there's a lot going on here. And so what I do with clients, depending on what I'm hearing in their voice, say, for example, if there's a lot of strain, it normally means the vocal folds are very pressed together versus if the voice is very breathy, the vocal folds are more apart. So depending on what I'm hearing, I will give them exercises to address the imbalance in the voice. But this has to be addressed. You can't wait till you get art to articulation to kind of address that if you really want to affect the highest quality voice you can. So that's that. So I will link to the live that I did on this if you're interested to learn more about your larynx and what's actually, I mean, it's, it's mind blowing given how tiny the vocal folds are, what they are actually capable of creating and affecting in your voice. So that's system number two. And as I said, probably the most overlooked system because it requires the most skill and technical understanding of the voice. And then the third system is resonance, which you probably heard a lot of. I talk about this quite a lot as well. Very important too. I mean, they're all important, of course, but we need all three of them. So resonance is really the sound waves leave the larynx. And this is where they get modified, enhanced and amplified. This will also include articulation. So we kind of put them together, resonance and articulation. So it's all happening at this kind of level. So above the vocal folds, so the throat, the mouth and the nasal cavities all contribute to the resonance in your voice. And this is what makes your voice sound like you. But the most incredible thing about this is there is so much potential within these cavities, within the throat, within the mouth, not so much in the nose, but the throat and the mouth, where we can really modify and enhance those sound waves. So that's why when people say, oh, well, my voice is just like this, I know it's not because I know there's a lot you can do at the laryngeal level and there's a lot you can do at the resonance level as well. So really, really important. And a, a really interesting fact I love to share is at the laryngeal level, when the sound waves leave your vocal folds, they basically sound the same, like we all sound the same. So if you were to swap my larynx for your larynx, they would still sound the same, the sound that literally comes out of the larynx. It's actually the modification, enhancement and amplification that makes me sound like me, not my larynx. There are obviously some nuances to that because biology plays a part in, you know, the size of your larynx, the length of your larynx, and that's going to determine certain things. But really and truly, your tone of voice is really coming from the resonance. But the quality of your voice is coming from the laryngeal level. So if we were to sort of really simplify this, and I'm, I'm very much simplifying this uh, just for ease of understanding, we can think about the breath is really the power source of the voice that powers the voice and gives it that potential. Then at the laryngeal level, it's really where your voice quality is determined. Is it weak? Is it strained? Is it rich? Is it deep? Is it raspy? Is it croaky? Uh, what's the quality of your voice? And that's really determined at this level. At the final level, at the resonance level, is really where whatever you've put in, whatever the quality of your voice you've created at the laryngeal level, is then going to be enhanced, amplified, and almost clarified. But if you put in a strained, raspy, croaky voice, 
that's what's going to be amplified. That's what's going to be enhanced. It's almost like the horse has already bolted if you wait at this level to try and affect change, which is why articulation is great. Very, very useful to work on articulation, but you want to start at the laryngeal level to really affect the quality of change in your voice. And that requires some training and that requires some knowledge and skill on the part of the person that's coaching you, or you need to have the understanding to help yourself create that. Which brings me on to a course I have starting on the 31st of August, which is in two weeks, I think today actually, or is it three weeks, two weeks today. And this is a four week live course. Now this is the first time I've run a live course. I do have an online course, which there's a link below to that, which is the cheapest way you can work with me. But obviously you're, you're basically doing that course yourself. I take you through a process of really uncovering this true powerful voice. But the live course is actually where you're going to have personal coaching, personal support from me. I'm keeping the group deliberately small as it's the first time I'm running it. I'm also offering it at an introductory rate. Essentially what I'm going to support you through over the four weeks is these different stages of voice production and how you can then combine them all. Because it is tricky when you don't really understand your own voice, you don't really know what you're hearing, what you're feeling. And so I will take you through this process over the four weeks. If you join me live for the calls, the replay will be available. If you join me live, you can ask me questions, I can coach you live. But also as part of the course, you will get added to a WhatsApp group and you can send within the group audio, video recordings. And then I can give you some support and feedback and guidance on how to move forward. Because the hardest thing for me with voice work, and I've spent years training my own voice, studying voice, is applying it in your own voice. You can understand the concepts, you can read them in a book, you can get them from a course, but how do I apply it in my voice? How does this make sense to me? because we all have our own conditioning, we all have our own stuff going on with our voice, our own beliefs, our own fears, our own insecurities. How do I apply that in my voice? That is what this course is gonna give you because you have access to me through the private WhatsApp group. And as I say, you can ask me questions, share audios, videos, but also you can ask me questions in the live training each week. So starts on the 31st of August, it's four weeks, 12 p.m. GMT, British Standard Time. I think I worked out that it was like nine o'clock in Australia and about 7 a.m. on the east coast of America. It's about the only time I could find that sort of is vaguely sociable for most of the world. And if you can't make it live, as I say, you still get the replays and you still have access to me. So you can still ask me questions I will still personally reply to you. So because it's an intro course, I am offering this for this time only at 500 pounds. So it's about 125 pounds a week, which is ridiculously cheap to work with me. I would never normally offer something at that, of this value at that price point. So if you would like to take advantage of this, I will put the link below. I'd love to support you. I'd love to help you. Just start to open your mind to what's actually possible. And how does all of what I've talked about today apply in my voice? How do I access this in my voice? And it will really just start to awaken something in you, which maybe you've never thought about this before. Maybe you've never thought that there's more than just breathing or, or enunciation. Uh, to speech. There's a lot more that goes on with the voice. So thank you so much for joining me. I will put all the links below. Feel free to ask me any questions if you want to get in contact. Uh, but thank you so much and I will see you next week.